Good day to you. Welcome to Rising Heritage Coins. I'm your host, Rising Heritage, and today I'm here to talk to you about my buying experience for the 2022 American Eagle Gold Proof Coins. Let's get into it. So as of the recording of this video, it is three days after the release of the 2022 gold proof American Eagles and I just want to talk a little bit about that buying experience now for me I was on the site right at 12 noon and I clicked the refresh button and of course it, it showed up to add to bag um, I mentioned in my previous video that I may end up going for the one half ounce gold American Eagle proof and that is what I did um, I was able to uh, purchase the item. I didn't have much trouble. I have to say that the add the credit card information worked uh, almost immediately, which is unusual. You have I, I, in the past, I've had to wait um, at least ten seconds to, or more or longer for the credit card information to fill in at which point it would erase some of the other information that I would uh, be putting in, such as the um, the credit card uh, three-digit uh, number. Uh, and uh, I think you have to put in the date too. Uh, but yeah, it would erase that information once the credit card information populated. But I didn't have to worry about this that this time because it did it almost instantly. So that was good. And when I clicked on the buy now button, um, it went to the page. I don't remember exactly what it says, but it went to a page that said uh, roughly, um, we can't find the page that you're looking for. And I mean, there's a trick to that page. Just keep hitting refresh and you don't have to type in all of that information. Do not go back to your cart because then you will have to type in the information and, um, you will be losing precious seconds uh, towards making that purchase. Just hit that refresh button and I was able to purchase it at that point. And then I did go ahead and get the one tenth ounce coin as well. Now I reluctantly bought these coins because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a numismatic. I am a stacker and I just love beautiful coins. And uh, my goal this year is really for stacking, uh, but uh, I've been bit by the gold and silver bug, so I just I felt like I had to have these, even at the very high premiums. I'm, I'm not interested in um, flipping these coins um, to each their own. If that's what you're doing, uh, hey, more power to you. I, I mean, I do plan on selling these in the distant future and I would hope to make money too. You guys are just doing it a little bit sooner than me. Um, so I do have a problem with the very high premiums and that is the reason that I only bought those two coins. I mean, I wanted to get all four of them um, and I have the funds to buy all four of them, but I just can't get past these very high premiums. And it may be true that, you know, the gold and silver prices are being um, manipulated and the true cost of gold could very well be much higher than what we're paying. Uh, it's just that I just can't get past the uh, the premium over that spot price. And there's a, it, it just feels that something is broken with the system. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the coins that are still out for uh, back order. So right now you can still get the one ounce uh, gold proof coin, one tenth ounce and one quarter ounce 2022 proof coin. The only two that are not available would be the four coin set and that did sell out five to six minutes after the release, after 12 noon on March 17th. And the 2022 one half ounce, uh, I think that sold out, I can't remember, maybe two or three minutes after uh, the hour. 
So I was really lucky to pick this one up. Um, and I did say, uh, I was mostly talking about this four coin set that this would not sell out. I was very wrong. And I respect this sellout uh, because it has uh, a one coin per uh, household limit. So um, there are a lot of people out there buying more than more than I realize. I, I, I do realize the 2021 set also sold out fairly quickly, but there was no minimum on purchase. So I find that really interesting. Um, I, and I did get that email from Pinehurst Coins um, to sell this for, I think it was $350 over uh, purchase price. Um, not selling my coins, or well, I didn't buy this one. And I don't know if they're offering that, anything for this half ounce, but I won't be selling this anytime soon. So with that said, uh, just want to let you guys know what was going on or how my day went uh, on the purchase of these gold coins. Wasn't sure that I was going to do it at all. Did end up doing it. So um, there it is. Please let me uh, invite you to like and subscribe to this channel. Um, that tells me that you want me to make more content. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.